Hi, Kristen and Mike. Highway to Hayfland here. We are in Central Oregon and it's January 1st, 2022. Our teardrop trailer is covered. It has been snowing a lot and we are actually headed on a kind of new adventure. We're actually heading, and this sounds a little bit crazy, but we are heading on a Mexican cruise this coming week. Um, about a year ago, our friends invited us to go with them on a cruise. We thought the pandemic would be over by now. We were very clearly wrong, but everything is booked and scheduled. So taking on some of the challenges of going on a cruise during a global pandemic. So for this trip, instead of camping in the Pacific Northwest with our teardrop trailer, we head off towards our cruise ship adventure to Mexico, but will it be worth it? After spending the night with my sister Kimberly and our niece Alice, they dropped us off at the Portland International Airport so that we could catch our flight to Los Angeles. We were very careful with keeping our masks on so that we didn't catch COVID while we were traveling. All passengers on the cruise ship need to be vaccinated and test negative upon arrival. It felt like a very long and tiresome journey full of crowds and lines, but we finally made it to our destination. Once on the cruise ship, we met up with our friends, the Carps, as well as checked into our room. Our balcony stateroom, food and drink package, as well as airfare, cost Mike and I a total of $3,220. We also spent $71 extra dollars the entire time we were on this week-long cruise. Every morning, we ordered coffee, fruit, and croissants to our stateroom, which was complimentary. Hi everybody, out on the deck on the cruise ship, I got my morning coffee, uh, looking out at the ocean, it's really beautiful, nice and tranquil, just, just relaxing, starting off our week. So far I enjoyed two favorite things about the cruise. The first was being able to see our friends, the Carps. I haven't seen them in two years and I just love spending time with them. The second is this balcony that we got. We got the stateroom balcony and I love it. You get this beautiful view of the ocean and it feels private. We're at the very back or the aft of the cruise ship and I would definitely get this room again. It is 9916 stateroom balcony on the Norwegian Bliss. On this Mexican Riviera cruise, there are plentiful food and drinks, gorgeous ocean views everywhere, pools, hot tubs, warm weather, and entertainment galore. The cruise also provided me a chance to visit Mexico for the first time. Cabo is beautiful. After visiting this area for one afternoon, we are curious to go back and learn more about what it's like. Cabo has a busy marina with lots of giant yachts and boat traffic. The beach resorts are located a short drive away. It was an $8 taxi ride for four people from the marina to the beach. If you go on the cruise, try to bring water with you or buy water from the cruise ship. We were constantly thirsty. Heading to Puerto Vallarta. Puerto Vallarta has a beautiful promenade where the ocean is on one side and shops and restaurants are on the other. You walk along a cobblestone road with pelicans flying overhead and art sculptures all over the place. This was our favorite stop. In Mazatlan, we took a $6 boat ride for three people over to Sand Island, where we enjoyed a beautiful day on the beach, eating coconut shrimp and drinking beer. There was also a friendly little dog that liked Mike. We also took a $5 cab ride to downtown Old Town Mazatlan and walked around a bit with our friends. We are on day five of our Mexican cruise and we just left the port of Mazatlan. We had some delicious coconut shrimp 
And one thing that we're noticing that we really enjoy about going on this cruise is there's plentiful food and drinks. We don't have to prepare any meals at all. It's just food and drinks everywhere and it's very relaxing and fun. And we're enjoying that aspect of the cruise. One disadvantage of going on a cruise ship during a global pandemic is at least for Mike and I, we're avoiding some of the larger indoor crowds. So we're avoiding the musicals and the shows because we're trying to make sure that we don't get sick. By the way, our favorite food on the ship was Indian food at the buffet. The buffet itself was very delicious. There was nothing we didn't like. We're arriving in Ensenada. We are going to go on our first excursion of the trip. In Ensenada, we took a quick excursion for $45. It was a two for one of the city highlights and the blowhole. We might try a different excursion next time. Even though we absolutely love our teardrop camper and we've been camping quite a lot over the last few years, we are explorers at heart and this cruise ship to Mexico definitely reminds us that we love all types of travel. So was it worth it to go on a Mexican cruise? Yes, it was. But if we could do it again, we'd go when we weren't in the middle of a once in a century pandemic. Happy travels. Thanks for watching.